It's uh, everything involves collaboration in one way or another, right? Yeah, amen to that. Welcome to Sound Bites from Home, a visual podcast featuring students, faculty, and staff from the Department of Performing Arts at American University. I'm your host, Andrew Brown, and today's guest is Rogerio Naresi, a musician, audio engineer, and educator at American. I hope you come one day to succeed, to break down the boundaries and be free from those who take from me that mislead me for their greed and their empty oh, oh, oh. maybe maybe the sunrise maybe maybe oh maybe maybe the stars will shine maybe so i was doing a quick look at your bio and you have two albums out right now the pan american experiment and dois dios dois it's a two in portuguese and it's because i i i collaborated with a friend so it was uh, we co-produced it so two <laughs> two of us <laughs> so tell me about your experiences writing those two albums like your inspirations for those my friend and i so i'm going to start with uh dois um we worked in the same studio and we just missed being more experimental, you know, just trying different recording techniques, you know, record uh, like an acoustic guitar going through an amplifier. Uh, we wanted to have that creative outlet and that's how Dois started. No, I What kind of music do you have on Doors? Like, you know, what kind of instruments, what kind of vibes are you trying to really capture in that album? It's very experimental. Uh, we have a lot of the traditional instruments. We have drums, we have uh, acoustic guitar, piano, uh, synthesizers. There is a one song that is that is a rap song. Um, there is one version of Amazing Grace. Nice. Uh, there are others that are just completely different, maybe somewhat pop or, uh, but yeah, the idea was just to be free because uh, we didn't really have to stick to any genre. It was just experimental. Memorias de um dia distante que hoje se refez. Espera. Tardias perturbam a paz. Quem dera eu pudesse despir-me do que não serve mais. If you think about it honestly, there's really no solo thing. You're always, you know, there's always people involved, even. Even if it comes down to, you know, other people develop that software that you're using, you know, it's yeah. nothing can be made alone. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, and making music with, um, with uh, somebody else is just a, an awesome experience. You know, of course, there's, um, there's a lot of give and take, but also people come up with ideas that you would never have thought of because you have a different music background. So, um, yeah. Combining those is is one of the one of the things that I enjoy the most um, in music making and you know the studio and everything.
Now, the most important question I'm going to ask you today is where can folks listen to your music? Oh, it's uh, it's on all streaming platforms, uh, YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Music. It's on all of those. And uh, more recently, I've been putting out uh, videos of, of uh, me playing the piano and the guitar and singing. So those are going to be on YouTube. But uh, the songs that are on the albums, the Pan American, Pan American Experiment and Dois, um, those can be found everywhere. Um, uh, Bandcamp as well. So. Well, I do wish you the best of luck in all of this. Uh, thank you so much for taking your time here for this podcast. It's really, you've been a really fun person to just interview. You've got a great character and I really can't wait to see your third album when it drops. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. <laughs>